I was heartbroken and um, I was shocked. I really was. Uh, anytime you have a power five school that goes 13 and 0, um, if you just look at the precedent that was set by the committee, a power five school that's undefeated never gets left out. And so we were just under the assumption that we were in. You win 13 games, first team quarterback, second team quarterback, third team quarterback. It doesn't matter. You win uh, 13 games and go undefeated, uh, you get a chance to play for the national championship. And uh, the committee, uh, they had other plans, it seems like. And uh, they kind of took it out of the field and they brought it to a boardroom and said, you're not worthy to play. And like I said, it just it broke our hearts and uh, we were just we were, we were truly devastated. What what do you think led them to this decision? You hear people saying it's political. They want Alabama in there. If George is not in there, they want Nick Saban in the playoffs. You know, ESPN wants him in there. You know, what do you think the reasoning was? You know, I really don't know. I mean, and to me, that's one of the, the most frustrating things about it is because I don't really know. What, what the real reason w w behind it was, you know, I, um, you know, I, I hear the committee say that they want to put, I guess, the best four teams in, in the, in, in the playoffs. And because we had a quarterback that was hurt, uh, maybe we're not one of the better teams, but it just seems like the week before we had that same hurt uh, quarterback that was hurt out. Uh, we go into the swamp and that same committee votes us as the number four team in the country. We go out again that next week and beat a Louisville team. And for some odd reason, they drop us behind a Texas team or they drop us behind an Alabama team. And so again, I'm like, I just, I, I really, really don't get it. You, you know what I'm saying? I just, and so again, I think we just, we really don't know why they they, they put us out and what the, what the reason behind the committee's, you know, reasoning for leaving an undefe undefeated power five school team. First time in history. You're hearing, you know, even people from the political world coming out and, and Senator Senator Scott's demanding answers. Governor DeSantis is weighing in. Is there something that you think could be done? Should they be some sort of appeal? Like, is there anything that could even be done? You know, I don't think there's anything that could be done. Again, I wish there was an appeal process and I wish there was something out there that they could go back and and make this right. I really do. You know, but unfortunately, I don't think it can be. But um, I, I, I would. The only thing that we can ask for now is just transparency. What really happened? Again, is there something to it? I mean, is there a reason why they left us out again? All we can ask for is answers and transparency. And at the end of the day, I think there's that's all that can be done. But again, it's just it's unfortunate because, again, a, a great team, a an undefeated power five team was left out of the playoffs. And it's just it is a shame. It's an opportunity for a lot of these kids to have a chance to play for a national championship. Not all of them will get to play like yourself on Sundays and win a Super Bowl. What do you say to these these kids? Because this is this is as tough as it for you. It's got to be very tough for the, for the roster. Yeah. I just, and again, whatever you say to those kids is not going to make them feel any better, but I would say as, as a, a proud Seminole alum, I'd say I'm proud of this team. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the effort. I'm proud of the way that you won. Um, uh, Florida state all year, they came together as a team and they came together as a unit. Gosh, they overcame some adverse situations, losing their number one quarterback and then going into an ACC championship and losing their number two quarterback. But their true character as a team showed, it really showed what type of team that they were that regardless of what player you put, regardless of the fact that I may lose uh, my number one Heisman Trophy quarterback, we find a way to win. And to me, that's the mark of a true team. That's the mark of a true champion. So I say, hold your head high, you know, uh, you were undefeated. You did a you did something that a lot of teams can't do, and all I can say is you did your very best. You did what was asked for for you. What was asked for you was to go on the field and win every game, and they did it. And I'd say be proud of that.